Hey there, I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the director of content for Book Riot. I'm back this week with another new book preview, so let's open the mail and see what's here. Oh, I've been hearing about this one. Incarceration Nations, A Journey to Justice in Prisons Around the World by Baz Dreisinger. This comes out February 9th, and it's a first-person odyssey through prisons around the world, beginning in Africa and concluding in Europe. Baz Dreisinger is a professor, a journalist, and founder of the Prison to College Pipeline. She looks into the human stories of incarcerated men and women and those who imprison them, creating a jarring, poignant view of a world to which most are denied access and a rethinking of one of America's most far-reaching global exports, the modern prison complex. Really interesting and important stuff. Ooh, here's another one that I've been hearing lots about. Fight Like a Girl, 50 Feminists Who Changed the World by Laura Barcella. And look on the back, there's Roxane Gay, Judy Bloom, and Margaret Cho. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Uh, it says, gender is a battlefield. These are the women you need to know. Nearly every day there's a fresh news story or pop culture movement related to feminism and women's rights. Yes, all women, intersectionality, rape culture, consent, equal pay, and a host of other issues are frequent conversation topics in American media and the Twitterverse. But what's often missing from the cultural discussion is a broader understanding of how we got here and who helped out along the way. This looks awesome. Mary Wollstonecraft, Sojourner Truth, Marie Curie, Frida Kahlo, Simone de Beauvoir, Rosa Parks, Maya Angelou, Yoko Ono, Audre Lorde, Jane Goodall, Judy Bloom. So many great names here. Angela Davis, Alice Walker, Hillary Clinton, Kate Bornstein, Pam Greer, Bell Hooks, Oprah, Sandra Cisneros, Gina Davis, Madonna, Wendy Davis, Margaret Cho, Queen Latifah, Ani DeFranco, Roxane Gay, Beyonce, of course, and Tavi Gevinson, Malala Yousafzai, and more. Fight Like a Girl looks awesome for the women and feminists and young feminists to be in your life. Next up is The Wonder Garden by Lauren Acampora, a coolly incisive portrait of the intersecting lives of one small Connecticut town. This is a debut, I think it's a collection of stories? Yes, it's a collection of short stories and this blurb on the front says that she is a brilliant anthropologist of the suburbs. Count me in. Let's see, this is... <laughs> <laughs> stuck together. Uh, Amateurs by Dylan Hicks. It's from Coffee House Press. Comes out May 3rd. Says the undermotivated and over over ambitious collide in this novel of manners, money, and the tricky line between friendship and the long con. It's about a sex toy heir named Archer, his best friend John, and John's girlfriend, and also the girlfriend's roommate. There's money, friendship, resentment, and conversations we have as we're coming of age and coming to grips. All right, I hadn't heard of that one before. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited about this one. Modern Lovers by Emma Straub. This comes out May 31st. I love Emma Straub. I loved her short story collection, Other People We Married, and she had a novel called Laura Lamont's Life in Pictures, and then another novel more recently called The Vacationers, which I really loved that's about a family that go on vacation together in Mallorca for two weeks, and things just go crazy. Uh, Modern Lovers, let's see. Friends and former college bandmates Elizabeth and Andrew and Zoe have watched one another marry, buy real estate, and start businesses and families, all while trying to hold on to the identities of their youth. So now they're nearing 50, they live within shouting distance of each other in the same neighborhood, they you know, have all the trappings of the adult, adult world, but the summer that their children reach maturity and start sleeping together, all right, the fabric of the adults' lives suddenly begins to unravel and there are secrets and revelations that will let loose. Cool. I really am a huge fan of the trope that I call getting the band back together where a group of friends uh, reunite as adults in a story. This is sounds like it's going to be a version of that even though they've all stayed close together in Brooklyn through their adulthoods. There will be new dimensions to the relationship. What a pretty cover. I'm here for this. The High Places, stories by Fiona McFarlane. She's the author of The Night Guest. This comes out May 10th, and this looks to be short stories. I remember when The Night Guest was out, I didn't read it. Uh, this is her debut short story collection. It says it is a startlingly mature collection that is by turns endearing and unsettling, intimate and wickedly funny. 
Remarkable in its psychological richness and the precise, tightly controlled language in which its character's thoughts are revealed to us. Sounds great. Y'all know I love short stories. I'm always happy to discover a new short story writer or a collection, so this one's going to be on my radar now. All right, that does it for this week's new book preview. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and don't forget to click on subscribe to stay up to date with all of Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.